Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our youth program this afternoon. And I know that everyone is sleepy now because everyone's so full because the food was so wonderful and delicious. But this afternoon, the youth choir will be presenting a cantata, which is a musical storytelling about the greatest story yet untold. So I hope that everyone would listen to the story that the choir will tell you through music and song. Um, so um, I'm requesting everyone to please stand up as Edison would lead us in prayer. Shall we bow our heads? O God, from every gift derives, we gather to worship you this day. You are an awesome God, greater than our comprehension or our imagination. You are beyond any word we could ever use to describe you. We have come to, word, to you in thanksgiving and praise, to know that you are God and to place our lives in you into your perspective. Enlarge our vision this hour with your gift of music, instill in us again your hope in place of our despair, your love amidst our unceasing lawlessness. At this very moment, Father, I pray, may we be reminded of your sacrifice as we unfold through music the greatest story yet untold, the story of your love. This I ask in the loving name of our, Father, of our Savior, Jesus. Amen. In the beginning, God created the world. He created men in his own image and likeness. But man committed sin and separated us from the love of God. But God continued to love us and even sent his son to die for us. This is the greatest story that we will witness today. The greatest story yet untold.
After the resurrection, Jesus opened their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures, and said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it is behoved, Christ to suffer, and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations. And darkness covered the earth, and gross darkness the people. They walk on in darkness. They know not, nor understand. They sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron. Their hearts are brought down with labor. They walk in darkness and know not whither they go, because darkness hath blinded their eyes.
God sent not a son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel, who has visited and redeemed his people, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. God is love. The love of God was manifested toward us because God sent His only begotten Son into the world that we might live through Him. He loved us and sent His Son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins, to be the Savior of the world.
said, Father, as thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me, and that the world may know that thou hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Jesus said to his disciples, As my Father has sent me, even so send I you.
Solomon declared, where there is no vision, the people perish. In his transforming vision, Isaiah heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And he answered, Here am I, send me. The Lord spoke to Isaiah, saying, Go and tell this people. In his vision on the Damascus road, Paul asked the Lord, What wilt thou have me to do? And the Lord replied, I have appeared unto thee to make thee a minister and witness to turn the Gentiles from darkness to light. And Paul said, I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision.